Hey guys, in the following tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to update the mobile header options for Portal 2. So to do so, it's pretty simple. Uh, you can go to uh, Flow Themes, just log into your site, um, and go to WordPress back in, then go to Flow Theme, then Header. That will bring you to the Header Settings se section. And then you'll want to go to Mobile Header. And then you'll see there are two, uh, two sections, the Mobile Header, that is the uh, little navigation that will be shown at all times. And then the mobile uh, menu pop-up, uh, the item that will show once you click the burger menu. So in the first section, you're able to choose the layout, so mobile header. You can choose layout type A, B, uh, or C. So that is with the burger menu to the left, right, or below the logo. Uh, you can then also set uh, colors. So uh, if you want to uh, use the non-default color of white, you can just use a different color and then select the color that you would like. And that will also go for elements, and the elements would be uh, the logo and the uh, items that are inside here, the little burger menu. You can also enable sticky uh, navigation, so whether you would like it to scroll as you go, so you have two options for that as well. Uh, so one with the white bar, just a standard like this, or uh, to have the little burger icon uh, scroll down uh, whilst you are uh, scrolling down the page. And again, you can choose the position of that as well, depending uh, which option you choose, top or bottom for the regular uh, sticky nav, uh, type A, and top left, top right, bottom right, or bottom left, if you're using the little sticky icon. You can also choose the colors for those as well. Uh, then you'll have options for setting the max width, for the logo. Uh, if you are using a, a text font, you can choose that also. Uh, you're also able to choose uh, a custom uh, logo as well. So if you wanted to choose a custom logo, uh, a text logo, you can do that uh, as well. And finally, uh, the last option would be choosing the trigger style. Now that is either the little uh, burger menu or uh, adding some text uh, for the uh, menu, so it could say menu or open or something like that. You can choose that and actually type in the text as well. Now, once you've selected all those options, you can go to the mobile menu pop-up, and that will be the section that pops up whenever uh, the user clicks that little burger menu or the menu icon. And you have two options here, type A and type B. Uh, type A uh, being the option to have the drop down items just below. So you click the main item, and if it's a drop down item, they will disappear below. So you can see those uh, that have one with the plus sign. And then type B will be uh, the navigation. Whenever you click, it will have the drop down items to the right. Now you'll also see that there's some uh, a little uh, explainer section here that explains all the different sections A, B, and C. And again, if you go to the corresponding options uh, down below, here, A, B, C, you'll be able to change those. You can set the background color. So for type A, you can have a background color and change the color of the menu items, so which can be seen here in the color section too. So background color, if you want to custom, select that and choose. And the same with elements, which are the menu navigation items, select and choose that as well. Again, you can also then, uh, for the type B, you have the option to set A, background image instead and you can add an overlay to that image so maybe you've added a uh, lighter image but you want it to be slightly darker you can put an overlay on that and then fade it out as well so you can choose the percentage of that fade from uh, anything up to 100 um, percent or as little as zero if using both options you will be able to choose the close button label so that'll be the little label up here this close menu icon um, and for uh, menu type B, it's actually an X. You will also be able to choose the menu uh, fonts. Uh, you can choose the uh, colors for the dropdown as well. And one of the most missed items that people forget to update is this text above copyright notice. So make sure to go and uh, update the copyrights area, uh, section C, uh, with your own details. Um, you know, your, your location, your uh, phone number, you can remove it completely as well if required. And you can actually also set up a uh, custom copyrights notice as well if you wanted to have a separate one just for your mobile device um, instead of using the standard option from the footer settings. 
Now, so just to show you, that would be the option just at the very bottom, just underneath the menu, and then a type B, it's also at the very bottom here as well. So you can just update both of those options as required for your needs. So that's it guys, that's the mobile uh, header options for Porto 2.